Hello, hello, possums. Yes, it is I, the conspicuous moo. And it is a very, very good time to try Elder Scrolls Online right now because they have, in their generosity, given everyone ESO Plus for an entire week. Um, now, what is ESO Plus? I hear you holler. It is the optional subscription service for the game. And it comes with a whole load of handy things if you're in the mood to shell out the cash. But in this case, you don't have to, at least not for a week. So, um, ESO Plus has bonuses like, you know, 10% more XP, um, less research times, um, it doubles up your bank space, and, you know, stuff like that. But there are two really, really big things about ESO Plus that make it worthwhile for a lot of players. First of all, it's the access. Um, now, this week, should you accept the mission into Tamriel, you can enter and go to all of the places that either require you to own the expansion in the first place or pay the sub in order to pay it a visit. This does include everything all the way up to the latest expansion, Blackwood, so it is a ton of new content for anyone who hasn't ventured outside of the base game. You can, for example, venture to Orsinium, which is one of my personal favourites, and get into the Orcish politics. Perhaps you'd like to visit the Clockwork City, which is a, a wondrous invention in its own right, or maybe you'd like to fight a few dragons and elsewhere. A bit of practice for dragonflight, perhaps. Or get knee-deep in the swamps of Merkmire. You can even try out Antiquities and embrace your inner Indiana if you fancy it, as Grey War will also be available. So yeah, pretty much everything is unlocked for players this week, bar I think the Companions from the Blackwood expansion. Um, so yes, get out there and get adventuring. And of course all of the additional dungeons and trials that are included in those expansions will be available to everyone as well, so there's a lot of dying to be done. Then of course there's the most important thing about ESO Plus in many people's minds, including mine, which is the Bottomless Craft Bag. Now, um, this is basically an infinite resource where you just chuck all of the materials, you know, all the wood chips and ore samples and bits of bone that you pick up as you murder your way across the continent. Um, just go straight into this bag instead and don't clog up the bags that you're carrying around with you all the time. So this is a terrific time to stock up on raw materials if that's really the, the way you want to go. Um, because even when the ESO Plus free period ends, you will still be able to withdraw items from this craft bag. You just won't be able to put any new things in. But as said before, all good things must come to an end, and that end is going to come on Thursday, July the 14th, around 10 a.m. EDT. So for you Europeans, it's around 3 p.m. on Thursday, and if you're around the Australasia region, it's going to be around midnight on Friday morning. So, if you're interested, all you need is a copy of the base game to get started, and I believe it's on discount on Steam at the moment, and you should be able to pick up a copy for around about 10 bucks, which is several hundred hours worth of content straight out the gate. Then you just need to log in, create your character, go to the crown store, which is usually the comma key, um, and then there will be um, an ESO Plus tab on the left hand side, select the free trial and you're away, ready to go. So if you're either new to the game or you're coming back after a period, um, this is really really good time just to get in and have a rummage around and see if you like the fibre of ESO's fabric. So I hope to see you in Tamriel, um, and uh, you know if not, that's fine too. I just thought I'd give you a heads up on this one. Um, I will be back relatively soon, but until then, I am the conspicuous moo, and a very, very good afternoon to you.